Okay, so we are identifying the pronouns. Yeah, so let's identify the pronouns first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read it and see how many pronouns can I do here. This weekend, uh, Jacob is throwing a party to celebrate his birthday. Yeah. Okay, so that. This is a pronoun. This is a pronoun. Which is demonstrative pronoun. Yes, it's throwing, it, it's throwing a party to celebrate his birthday. And he, his is which pronoun? I'm going in there. His yeah. is the possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun, pronoun yes. Yeah. And he is a subjective case. It's a subjective case. He has invited many friends and relatives. Jacob's sister, Pamela, is bringing the cake. She has promised him right. that it will be a cake. It will be, be chocolate. chocolate. So she refers to what? Jacob's sister. Yes. Him refers to um, uh, Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. And it refers to what? The chocolate. The cake. The chocolate cake. It refers to cake. Yeah. It is the cake which is going to be yes. chocolate, yes. right? So this is what you have to uh, remember for GMAT. Mm -hmm. This is a pronoun agreement. Okay. Let's see in the next slide what we mean by that. So yeah, this is, uh, we'll quickly write it here. This yeah. is a uh, dem demonstrative, demonstrative pronoun. pronoun. His, His is personal. personal Object, no, possessive. Personal possessive. He, he is, is personal. Oh, let's just write it like this. This is demonstrative pronoun. His is personal, personal pronoun. pronoun. Personal possessive. Personal possessive. He, he is personal is subjective case. Personal subjective subject case. Yeah. Uh, she, and she again personal, personal subject case him in personal object personal object and it is it personal is subject personal subject personal subject if it had been it's it's possessive personal possessive right yeah. so let's move to the next slide great pronoun hmm. agreement error yeah, yeah. so <coughs> The rule is that we have to use a singular pronoun to replace a singular noun and a plural pronoun to replace a plural noun. Okay. So if we, this is called agreement, mm -hmm. and if there is anything which is like, if the singular pronoun does not refer to the singular uh, noun, yeah. then there is an agreement error. Okay. So if we read this sentence, everyone should do their homework. What's the error? Everyone refers to... If all there is. Everyone should do their homework, there's no error. There is an error. Everyone is a singular subject. Yeah, there's a singular. And there is, is plural. a plural yes. pronoun. Any word that ends with one, yes. body, or thing. That becomes a singular. singular. Yes, absolutely. So there is plural. So this is what we ignore in Gina. So therefore, this is an error. So everyone should do his or her homework. Everybody should do his or her homework. Everybody Every should do their homework. No, everybody is also body singular. Is also singular? Any word that ends with one, body or think. One, body, let me just put it down. One, body or thing. Is singular. Is singular. And then they need to be matched with a singular, singular pronoun. pronoun. So everyone should do his homework. Everybody should do his homework. Yeah. Everything will not be acceptable here, but yeah, everything is also singular. a singular. Right. So everyone should do his or her Perfect. Right. The second sentence is? The golden retriever is one of the smartest breeds of dogs, but they can do, they can but they cannot do, do your GMAT homework for, for you. you. Yeah. Okay. So analyze the sentence. So the go it, it refers of golden retriever is one. One. So it, it, the, the categorizing is singular. Singular. Right. So, but the pronoun is they. They. Which is, which is incorrect. So what should we do here? How should we replace it? But, but it, it cannot. Do do your GMAT homework. Right. When we refer to people, we use who and whom. Yes. When we refer to animal, we use which and that. Yes. People, who, whom. When you use animals. Or things, we use which and that. Animals, place and things. Yes. Place, things, we use. Which. Which or yeah. that. Perfect. Right. Okay. So the golden retriever is one of the smartest breeds of dog, but it cannot do your GMAT homework for you. Right. So this is pronoun agreement. But we can also remove this for redundancy. Okay. Just this. No. All right. So let's uh, go to the next slide. Yeah. 
Yes. So this is called pronoun ambiguity error. Pronoun ambiguity error. Okay. So there is a confusion if the pronoun does not clearly refer to one noun. So pronoun must clearly refer to only one noun. Uh, so you'll have to repeat this again. Yeah. Pronoun must refer to only one noun. Mm -hmm. If it does not refer to one noun, then it creates a problem which is called pronoun ambiguity. So problem. for example, let's say there's a pronoun his and there are two names of guys. Right. You uh, have an Tom example. And Jack. Then, then there's a. You have an example here. Okay, let's see, let's see that. Lisa Marie was supposed to meet Jenny at the museum at 11 o'clock, but she was late. Yeah, so you don't know if Whether Lisa Marie was late or Jenny is late. Yes. So who is this she? Yeah. Or who does this she refer to? So this is a pronoun ambiguity. This error. is pronoun ambiguity error, and how do we correct is is you re -re you repeat the name, you repeat you the repeat noun. The name. Lisa Mary was supposed to meet Jenny at the museum at 11 o'clock. But Lisa, but Lisa Mary was late. Or Jenny was late. Whatever is given Repeat to you. Repeat the noun. Repeat the noun. Or you can also write it this way Lisa Mary, who was late, was supposed to meet Jenny at the museum at 11 o'clock. Yes. Anything but that, it has to uh, you know, refer, clearly give the meaning of this. Absolutely. Sentence. So that's a pronoun ambiguity. Ambiguity error. error. Perfect. Right. So the third error. We'll go further. Yes. Okay. And the third error is pronoun consistency error. Okay. Pronoun usage must also be consistent. That mm -hmm. means if you're using one form of noun throughout the sentence, you use the similar form of the noun. One should watch his belongings on a crowded street. Mm -hmm. Error. One should watch his belongings on a crowded street. Now, belongings. Okay, the error is, it says one. One, one is a subject pronoun. Yeah. And the uh, possessive pronoun for one is ones. Ones. Okay. Yes. So one once. should watch one's belongings. One on. should watch one's belonging on a crowded street. Or he should watch his belongings. Yes. He would go with his. Yes. One would go with one's. Perfect. So similarly, you will go with yours. Some of you will and have. They will not go. Yes. Some so this of will you will go not. with yours. Or they will they. have to bring. Or this should be they will go with theirs. Theirs. And she goes with her. She with her. We with our. We with our. It with its. And let's say it with its. And this is called pronoun consistency and we must yes. be consistent throughout the sentence. So the pronoun must be so consistent. So GMAT really checks a lot on the yeah, consistency yes, problems? Yes, they do. These are high scoring problems, low scoring problems? Low scoring problems. Okay. One should watch one's belonging on a crowded street. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's move to the next slide then. So now we did pronoun agreement error, we did pronoun reference error, and we did pronoun consistency error. Yes. Remember all three errors? Yes. Okay. Now I versus me. Mm -hmm. If the pronoun is performing an action, it is the subject, and you should use I. If the yeah, so this is what we already discussed. Oh, yes, in, it's in, just a in reminder. Subject and object. Right, Th this is a reminder. Yeah. So if you're performing an action, you are I. Performing an action is subject and, and you use I. I. If you if you're being receive, acted upon, if yeah, you're receiving receive an action, then you're an object and, and you're, you're me. me. Yes. So K, Amanda, and I are going for party. Yes. Because so because you're, you're doing you're an, action. an action. Yes. And my father gave a gift to my sister and me. Your father is the subject and you're only receiving, receiving. the action. So you will be the object. But we only say receiving the action. We don't say mm, uh, receiving gifts. So uh, you can say I received the gift. In that case, you're doing an action of receiving. Yes. Right? Only when you receive the action, then you are me. So this is very important. Yeah. Because this could confuse people. So when you're saying, when you're receiving an action. Then only you are me. So do not confuse receiving an action with receiving anything. Yes. So it could be I received Receive the gift, a purse, or yeah. I received something. Right. And but that in that it will not be me. Yes. It will be always be I, I because you're doing an action of receiving. receiving. But when, when 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 receiving is an action, when you receive an action, action it becomes it can be anything. Else. It becomes object, and, and you are me in that case. Me. Right. Yes. So this is is me, this clear? Him, like, yeah. It's absolutely clear. Okay, so let's go to who and whom in the next slide in the similar way. Okay. Who versus whom? Okay, so. It is the, I think, the biggest confusion that people have. Yes, so when the pronoun is performing an action, it is subject, so you use who. Yes. And when the pronoun receives the action, it is whom, therefore use 
it is same, the same, same, same criteria, group, absolutely. Same. When you're performing an action, it yes. is a subject, and so you will be who. When that, when you're receiving an, an action, action, you are an object. Receiving an action, it is who. Yes. Perfect. So the detective knows who committed the murder. Yeah. And to whom should, should I, speak I speak about the matter? So if you're not very sure, then ask question. Yeah. If the answer is object. If not sure, try this. Yes. Right. So that is like you say, detective knows who committed the murder. Do you say he committed the murder or him commit committed the murder? Detective like, you know he committed the he murder. He committed yeah. the murder. So if the answer is he, yeah. then it is who? Ask a question. If he, then it's who. Right. Yeah. And uh, to whom should I um, speak about the matter? Do you say I, you, you speak to him or do you say you speak to he? So you will always say to him. Him. Yeah. So if the answer is him, yeah. then it is whom. Who should you speak to? Is wrong. He or who should you speak? Yeah. Who Absolutely. should you speak to is wrong because Absolutely. my answer will always be I want to speak to, to him. him. Yes. So it should be whom do, whom, you? whom do you want to speak to? Absolutely. Right. Whom do you want to meet? Who do you speak to? will be wrong because you will, let's say this, this will be wrong because, because the, the answer, answer will, will be, be him. him. And therefore, when the then answer is this, then it is this whom. has to be whom do you want to speak to or yeah. in case maybe. Perfect. So you understood the difference between who and whom and how to choose whether you want to choose who yes. or whom? Yes. Okay. So let's go quickly to the summary. Let's quickly go to the summary. Perfect. Right. Pronoun must agree in number with the noun they replace. So yes. that means singular with singular and plural with plural. That's consistency. That is uh, the agreement error. Okay, that's the agreement error. Yeah. This is the agreement error. Then pronoun must unambiguously refer to only one, one noun. noun. So this is reference. This is the reference. And who is the subject pronoun? Whom is the object pronoun? Who and whom is the object? Again, who, who is, is the subject? It's its use when? When you perform, when the sub pronoun performs the action. Yes. And whom is when, when they're receiving an action? Receiving an action. These are the important things that a student must, must remember must when doing a pronoun. Okay, so these are must. And just in case you're having confusion, you can always go back to the complete video yes. and make sure that all your concepts of pronouns are very clear. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll do not go further ahead. We'll do the questions in the mm, next video. Okay, so, so in, in one of the next videos, we'll be taking questions on pronouns, right. absolutely. Perfect. After so this, we'll do the agreement errors, and let's do that in the new video. Okay, so the, so the concepts of pronouns are absolutely clear in all these videos? Yes. Fine. And this is what you need to know for GMAT purpose. So after that... Great, Nashi. Thanks we'll a lot. We'll, uh, what, what are we doing in the next video? Subject verb agreement. Okay, so let's, let's come back to subject verb, verb agreement in the next video. Sure. Thank you very much.